the whole reason that you know I have a talk show. This is exactly why we why we should have a talk show. So I, people can plug their movies and all the stuff, but we just make it fun. It's like a cool thing that we're doing. It's like we're lucky to be in this business that we, you know, it's. I ran into Mick at a party, and uh, I did some bit a while back on Saturday Night Live where we were uh, I was his reflection in the mirror, and I was like, you know, want to do Saturday Night Live again for you know? Yeah, all right. And uh, and so uh, I couldn't be any more embarrassed <laughs> for Mick than I was then, you know. So I was just talking to him, and uh, and I said, what are you up to? And he said, um, you know, we're working on this re-release of uh, Exile on Main Street. And I go, oh, if there's anything I can do to help you on that, um, I'd love to do it. I mean, I have a talk show now, and he's like. So, oh, we actually have this great documentary called Stones in Exile, where it's about the making of Exile on Main Street. That you know, maybe you could show that, or work on, or introduce that, or host that. I was like, I'll give you my show. I mean, we can work it out. I didn't talk to NBC. Yet. So I was like, <laughs> you know, talking out of school. But I was like, uh, we said, and what we'll do is we'll have all week long. We'll have Rolling Stones. We'll have, uh, like the biggest bands play their favorite Rolling Stones tracks off of Exile, which is a great double album. Of course, we couldn't afford it. <laughs> we have no money, so uh, we, you know, we have a decent budget, but it's not that good. So we uh, called Budweiser, and they were awesome. They're like, "Yeah, let's, uh, this is great. We'll totally sponsor this." So it's sponsored by Bud Light Golden Wheat. You're probably with Keith Richards now. That's not a game he plays. He does not. <laughs> he loves to drink. Yeah, he'll, he'll. That's not a game for him. He's like, "What is this?" Oh. <laughs> If you hit a thing, then I had a drink. I want to drink now. Right. Like, we, we don't need the ball. I don't need you throwing a ping pong ball in my drink <laughs> for me to drink. Yeah. yeah. I think I yeah I play my own game. Yeah. yeah. And I couldn't hang it. Oh man, I don't want it to end. Kind of. I almost want the there to be like a weather advisory, and no one gets to see the ending of Lost. <laughs> like that would be the best. That's what I would do. Something like that. Like make some glitch happen where just television doesn't work that night, and everyone misses the ending of Lost. <laughs> Love me, my, I love me some Justin Bieber. Yeah. He's a great dude. What yeah. a great guy. Yeah, he came on as a guest, and uh, you know, he's such a talented guy. He's, he's well, how old is he? 16. 16 years old. You know, he must be, I don't know what he's going through right now. I can, can't even imagine. Just to, the fact to have him here and just talk to him and just say, hey, what's going on with you? And he's like, he, you know, he's it's a whirlwind. He's just running from place to place, doing different things. and. He was a fan of our show, a fan of The Roots, and he's like, well, if you want, I can play, I can play drums. Because that dude started as a YouTube sensation. I mean, yeah. That's an amazing story. So like, the chance to even talk to Justin Bieber and say like, wait, so that's what everyone understands how this happened. You just videotape yourself singing and put it on YouTube, and that's it? Now he's selling out, you know, people rioting in Australia. I mean, what is going on? Yeah. That's amazing. That's so cool that the internet is that powerful and that cool that you can do stuff like that. I, I want to do the show uh, from space in Richard Branson's uh, spaceship at uh, David Bowie's musical guest, and if the Queen was around, uh, halfway up there as well, or any other person, maybe someone from around talking about the book or something. <laughs> <laughs> when it's just some random person, or maybe a fan even, just let's go up to space. Yeah. Let's have a talk show from space. <laughs> I gotta have a couple of the roots up there too. So. Yeah. Yeah, I can interview Quest Lover. Black dog. We'll see what's up. I don't know if he can get the, the hair into, into a, 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 a helmet. helmet. Yeah, I don't think you have to wear the helmet in the show. So yeah. Right. yeah, he can get his fro in. Uh, Mario Batali is a genius. No, he's like one of my best friends. I just love him. Uh, he's a generous guy, smiley guy, always friendly. You don't have to be a jerk. You know, when you, when you get successful, you don't have to be a jerk. And he's not. He, he's proof. That, that good people still exist. He's a great guy. Thanks. Don't want to keep Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.